All right, so you're supposed to have copied down problem one, take a shot, and here we go through the answers in detail. X plus H substituted in for the two instances of X in F of X. So you got 3X plus H squared instead of 3X squared, 2X plus H. Two times the quantity X plus H instead of 2X. And then minus the original function. That's everything. That's your numerator. Downstairs, this H is going to go, but not for a while. Because you got to square out that X plus H. Don't lose that 3 in front. I distributed the 2 because I could. Distributed the minus sign because I could. I'm just trying to make improvements. Now I got to distribute this 3. So I got a 3x squared. 3 times 2 is 6. 3h squared. Now the bloodbath begins. Let's kill some stuff off. I can kill off the 3x squared and the minus 3x squared. I can bump off the 2x and the negative 2x. Now that's everything without an h. So now I can knock off 1h. 1h. So this H becomes a 1, this H becomes a 1, this H squared becomes an H, this H becomes a 1. So I've got 6X plus 3H plus 2. There it is. And I will be looking for that 3H or whatever it is on your test to show that you did have an H piece, but it goes to 0 when H goes to 0. You didn't take that limit yet h goes to 0, 3h goes to 0, you get 6x plus 2, which is the shortcut for 3x squared plus 2x, so you know you got it right. Next problem, next up, problems 2 and 3. All right, so it's a chain rule because the outside is that second power and the inside is sine x. You guys are supposed to know that this is the same as having sine x Quantity squared. You're supposed to know that. Tell them, Coco. Tell them. You're supposed to know. So, that's what's going on here. The 2 comes down. Sine x to the first power. Cosine x. Done. Just leave it like that. This guy, sine x times cosine x. Product rule. Got to do product rule. So, it's the derivative of cosine, which is negative sine, times sine x. So, it's negative sine x, sine x. And then the derivative of sine. That's cosine x times cosine x. So it's negative sine x sine x, so it's negative sine squared. Cosine x times cosine, that's cosine squared. That's your answer. That's your full credit answer. Cosine squared x minus sine squared x. Dig it. Number three, implicit differentiation. Let's see it. So the original problem, hit it with that derivative. Product rule. So this, i got to get two terms out of this, and they're both pretty fancy. Aren't they? Aren't they fancy? See them. Oh, yeah. All right, so the 2x from derivative of x squared, y squared untouched, plus x squared unchanged, times the derivative of y squared with respect to x. So that's why there's that y prime there. The 2 comes down, y to the 1 less power, times the derivative of y, which is y prime. Derivative of x is just 1, because we're taking the derivative with respect to x, of course. Hello. There we go. Let's see that weasel some more. All right. Now. Other side, 3y squared, y prime. So the 3 comes down, 1 less power, times the derivative of y with respect to x. There's your baby, uh, cocoa banana. Let's go use that. Go on, here you go. There you go. All right. All right. So the stuff without y prime, the stuff with y prime, divide, get y prime by itself. I hope you can read it. So there's that. That's all the stuff you need to know for the first page of the test. Second page coming up. Only two problems on the second page. It is my sad duty to inform you that the weasel will not be participating in these problems. And I lied. There's three more problems. All right. You got to do this square root using differentials. We've done this a bunch of times. You should be able to do this. So you have y equals x to the 1 half, which means that dy dx is 1 half x to the negative 1 half. So the change in y is approximately 1 half x to the negative 1 half times the change in x. 
So my change in y is approximately 1 half, 1 over the square root of 36, which is just 6, 1 over 6, and then times 3 over 100. So I have, the 3 can cancel into the 6. Let's make that a 6. The 3 can cancel into 6, leaving a 2. So I have, for my change in y, 1 over 400. So my answer, this is approximately 6 and 1 over 400. I will leave you to do the check. Next up, number 4. Gave the formula, but here's what's happening. For some reason, this, this tube is shrinking. The height is staying 12 inches, but the tube is shrinking. Maybe it's like a, a bicycle inner tube and the air is coming out. All right, so we're, and we're looking for how fast the volume is going down, but the height stays 12. So I can say that the volume is pi r squared times 12. I don't have to keep h around because it's a constant, but r is changing. So dv dt, the thing we seek, that's nice, it's all by itself, is equal to 24, 2 times 12 times pi, 24 pi r to the first times dr dt. And the problem says, okay, the dr dt is negative one fourth, and the radius is four. So I have dv dt is 24 pi, four inches, negative one fourth here. So for my final answer, these fours cancel, the minus sign gives me negative 24 pi cubic inches per what do we got for time? Is it minutes, seconds? What do we got? How fast is this thing going? Minutes. Full credit answer there. So even though the radius is going down kind of slow, a uh, quarter inch per minute, the volumes, we're losing quite a bit of volume. That's because it's four inches wide. You know, the radius is four, the diameter is eight. So there's a big volume. It's big. It's a big balloon. Big balloon shape shrinking down. So you're losing some space. All right, one more problem to go. Let's take a look at it. La la la. Here we go. Last one. So, the lamp's being lowered, so this distance is changing. Well, that distance is changing too, but I don't know how high the ceiling is up. They don't give me any of that information. I don't need it. This is the distance that is shrinking. Well, we're going to call it H for height. There's a pole 10 feet from the point below the lamp. So it's 10 feet there, 5 feet high there. They want to know how fast the shadow is growing because as this comes down, that shadow extends out. I can see it. So let's say S here for shadow, that's the S. I do have a five, keep them straight, and I'm trying to draw a nice curly S for you. And now I need a, a ratio, and it's similar triangles. So let's do H over five, let's say. Big triangle side, big triangle side is 10 plus S. Little triangle side is just S. Cross multiply H S. There's a weasel. 50 plus 5 S. I'm going to get that weasel. I'm going to get you, get you, Carl. There you go. I just get you. You be with me. And I got a weasel. Say hello. Hello. Say hello to Coco Bananas. Such a good weasel. All right. Be with us, weasel buddy pal. Be with us. All right. Well, this is a good relationship here. I'm going to take the derivative with respect to t. I'm going to erase here to make some space. Taking the derivative, I'm going to have dh dt s plus h ds dt. That's equal to the derivative of 50 is 0 plus 5 ds dt. Well, let's see what we can get out of this. We uh, are going to have to do some shopping. 
Uh, so dH dt is negative 2 feet per second. Let's see if I can work over here for you. dH dt is negative 2 feet per second. S. We don't have S. We're going to have to find S at the moment, which we can find from here. Because they said all this stuff is happening when the lamp is 10 feet above the floor. So if I put a 10 right there, 10 over 5 is 2. Cross multiplication gives me 2S equals 50 plus 5S. So I can subtract 2S and subtract 50. How am I getting a negative? How am I getting a negative out of that? 3s equals negative 50. I can't have a negative shadow. What happened here? Hang on, weasel. If I put in the h is 10, this is good. I don't know what happened here. h is 10. Is that an s and not a 5? That's a 5. I'm going to use this formula. I don't know what happened. I just want to get this done. H is 10. So I have 10s equals 50 plus 5s. Subtracting 5s, I have 5s equals 50. S equals 10. So I've got a 10. Oh, you want to get down this? Go ahead. So there's a 10 for s plus h is 10. ds dt is the thing I seek. And that's equal to on the other side. Why is there a plus 5? Oh, it's 0 plus 5. Okay, I can get rid of that plus. 0 plus 5, and it's uh, 5 dsdt, the thing I seek. So I can subtract this 10t from this, or 5, 10 dsdt from 5 dsdt, and I get negative 5 dsdt is equal to negative 20. So ds dt is equal to 4 feet per second. And that's how fast the shadow is growing. And that's it. I'm sorry about that little distraction up there. I, I think I just lost concentration with the weasel. But anyway, this is good. The shadow is growing. I got the right thing. All right, you guys. There you go. I told you I'd do it. I'll not see you until Monday.